Hi, this is a review from a Harvey Video Converter 15. I've made a review previously for the Mac version of this. It's a very fast video converter, which also at the same time as being fast uh, offers lots of options. When you start up, you're presented with this, which is basically a little tutorial that you can skip or close. Let's just close it. Now, let's have a look at what version it is a minute. It's version 15.1, and as you can see, I'm using the latest version. Also, under help, you have help topics. You can ask questions. You can contact support from here, check for updates, and switch to the video suite, which is basically this and the video editor and a few other the, of their programs bundled together for a saving. Here, under settings, you have languages, and you can request more if you, your language isn't there. You can have a dark or light interface. you can select to show the player here, preview player, or go to preferences. Under preferences you can select your language from here as well, check for updates, uh, send anonymous usage stats to Mojave. Uh, that is can be unticked here because not everybody would like it. Uh, some people don't like that sort of thing but I tend to leave it ticked, I don't mind that. Show your hints on startup here or not. Conversion when the same file is found you can either automatically overwrite that file or automatically rename the new file. After conversion you can automatically have the output folder open or not and a no notification sound play. Under acceleration you have three options here. You have hardware acceleration using Mar Marvy's own super speed conversion which is the thing that makes this on both Windows and Mac so snappy and fast to convert. You then have Intel Hardware Acceleration, so if you have Intel HD onboard graphics, it will use it as a hardware accelerator to speed up conversion. This isn't selectable for me because I'm using an NVIDIA dedicated graphics card and don't have onboard graphics. It works with Intel HD. I'm not sure if it works with the new Intel Iris or Iris Pro onboard graphics, so I'm not sure about that. You can tick to learn more for all these things. The reason Intel, um, sorry, the reason NVIDIA GPU acceleration is not selectable is I have got an NVIDIA card on this computer and it is using the latest drivers, but this here uses CUDA core en encoder and that has been taken out of the latest NVIDIA drivers. You have to roll back your drivers to an older version if you want to use it because because they are trying to make people use a new neuro encoder, not the CUDA core encoder. But I think that Marvi Mar are planning to switch to the new encoder. But this doesn't affect just them, it's any program, any conversion program that uses NVIDIA, uh, CUDA needs updating to the new type. Okay, now we have a look at preferences. Now let's look at playback. Here you can play, also press space to play or pause the preview here. Next frame, previous frame, or full screen playback. You have some conversion options here, such as after shutdown, do you want to do nothing? I mean, after conversion, do you want to do nothing? Shut down the computer or hibernate the computer. Edit is quite basic, so duplicate, remove, remove, or you can also transform, crop, image watermark, things like that, which are also down here and you can tick or untick it. multiple video files listed. Here you can add your video and or audio file, add a DVD file to convert, add an image file, this is more of a bonus as it is mostly a video converter, or add a fold, entire folder to convert. If you have one added you can do file information here. Down here is your presets such as a .move file, a FLV v a flash video file, MPEG2, WMV, MP4 or just convert to an audio file such as M4A, MP3 or the old AVI format which I don't prefer. Custom, WAVE, you can also got categories here, got quite a few here such as Ultra HD 4K, you can upscale from standard definition or DVD quality to HD but that will take quite a lot of time no matter what your specs are. HTML5 video, online video, web compatible, various formats and audio only formats here. 
some image formats you can convert from a one image format to another or select social networking and you've got a few like Tumblr and DeviantArt here devices such as an Amazon Kindle an Android various things like Zoom, Windows Phone 8, Xbox PlayStation, Sony, there's some Sony phones Sony PlayStation, uh, so you got like PSP PSP or PS3 you can convert to they don't have, uh, there's a Vita there, or Vita, whatever you want to call it, but there it doesn't seem to be a PS, oh there you are, PS4 actually there's some settings for that, these are all presets, you can customize them all you want so let's go and select MP4 I don't really have many suggestions for new features for this just perhaps more image formats, even though that's not really a point of this, you know, it'd be nice to have a few more also, uh, some programs have a thing built in that if you're converting one of your movies from your movie collection, you can easily find through it uh, very quick its title description, its uh, its actual description, its poster to put as its image, and or perhaps even find subtitles if you want it automatically. Um, so I'd like features like that added for people who are converting their movie collection. I'd like to see it some sort of online auto. De I don't really know how you describe it, but uh, an example of that is Smart Converter 2, not 1, but 2 on Mac. That does that sort of thing, and I'd like to see that added. Okay, I've added one of my own MP4 video files. It's about 1080p, English AAC audio, no subtitles. It's only about 250 megabytes, well, nearly 260, 17 minutes long. It tells you what file type you've selected export as, what its size will be at the end, which will be about the same in this case, and what the new name will be. You can also choose to add it straight to iTunes. If you have more than one video file here, you can join them. Upload to, which I don't remember the Mac one having. You can upload to Facebook straight away, YouTube or Vimeo after conversion. You can browse. Uh, where you want it to export or even use this tick to open the export folder you can go then to settings but before we do I should note that here is your super speed so it shows here which ones are super speed or not and if you change settings here it will make it not super speed or if it wasn't super speed you might actually make it into a super speed compatible format I, I am not going to convert it to mp4 because it's already mp4 uh, I'm already only demonstrating settings here anyway, but let's go to WMV maybe? No longer super speed. Go to settings, you can select your preset here as well. You can select a codec if there's more than one, in this case there is not. Frame size, so you want to smart fit it, upsize it. Or you can select like half the original size, a quarter of the original size, or 1080p if it was say um, bigger, or if it was 1080 you could, you might want to say make it 720 instead. In this case auto I think would be best. Then you could select resize quality fast, good, or slower but better quality, but because I'm auto it will do it itself. Same with resize method here such as letterbox or crop. Bit rate here, even custom frame rate and audio auto of that same sort of thing for audio really hit OK now down here you have transform so you can rotate the video you can flip it you can reset you can crop, maintain aspect ratio, select an aspect ratio, put in a custom size, reset, apply, a text watermark, image watermark, and if you want transparency or to maintain the aspect ratio, some basic adjustments for brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation, or use some auto settings. You probably don't want to do this if it's a movie you're converting because you might lose some of because you might lose some of the color grading that for the environment, you know, the atmosphere. But if it's on your own video, you might videos you might want to do this and hit apply. That may affect your conversion time. And here is 
some volume so if it's too loud you can turn it down you can boost the volume if it's too quiet you can normalize so if there's loads of loud bits all of a sudden then quiet bits and then blaring bits again you can normalize the volume and it will reset those settings you can hide the video player you can show what the original one looked like compared to what it's going to export you can unpin this you can unpin this and then you can put it back like that and then you can hit convert depending upon what sort of format you're converting from and then to and vice versa the speed will uh, change greatly in this case it doesn't support super speed for what this conversion is so it's going to take longer but still it's popping along reasonable you know, acceptable sort of speed and I have converted files that are say MKV an hour and a half two hours and converted them to an mp3 that is compatible with the Apple TV box and it has converted in either a couple seconds or 30 seconds the nearest competitor I can think of to this let's just stop this I'm just demonstrating settings really and telling you about it the nearest competitor I can think for speed is Smart Converter or Smart Converter 2 on Mac that program is very quick but unlike this this is lossless you don't lose any quality but it's fast the other I don't believe is I believe it does put, put some of the settings down to make it faster I've also had issues with sound cutting out when I played it on the Apple box which I haven't had yet with this also if you're a Windows user Smart Converter had a new Smart Converter 2 on Mac which added a lot of new features and is quite cool for a simple editor I mean simple converter but they never updated the Windows one still and it's been in quite a while since 2 came out on Mac so I w even though this is more a bit more expensive this is a full featured editor that's fast so I would really recommend this some people in reviews on sites say it's got a terrible interface well look at some of the competitors it's not all that different so I don't really see what they mean by that I don't mind the interface, very easy and standard sort of video converter interface, so I, I do recommend it. So thanks for watching. Please do me a favour and like and share this video and also if you could subscribe because it only takes a couple of seconds to do and helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching.